there's only 12 signs, which means there's only 12 frequencies. But there's an eight possibilities in between. And I have the 12 frequencies, much as you have the 12 frequencies, much as my assistant, my husband, every. So we all share this common vibration, but it's how it's mixed in that creates a difference, right? Same as music. It's all the same freaking notes, but they're all mixed up differently. Okay. So whenever you pop into this world, you are this unique piece of sheet music that has all of these beautiful notes on it that are arrayed. And you can play it really, really well where everybody wants to listen and everybody goes, oh my God, look how great they are. That's living your best life. Or you can be the person in the back that got last chair and violin and they, they don't know how to play it and they're just afraid to go out there. That's living it in the lowest vibration. Okay. And so what you want to do too, is when you're meeting people in your life and we're going to, we're going to talk about this. We're going to go through all of them. We're going to see when you're meeting people in your life, the, the most, um, the, how do you say this? The signs that you are right now, like if you're a Pisces or if you're an Aries, in order to learn your lessons and to be the best version of yourself so that your consciousness can learn in this lifetime, you will be met with the opposite energy. So let's talk about one more time. Whatever signs you are right now, you will be met with the opposite energy. Why? To grow, to expand, to learn, to conquer. And it's your job to understand that. And then it's your job to grow because nobody else can do it for you. The, the opposite energy is there as an opportunity. Do you take it or do you not? 